So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today I'm going to showcase to you guys how you can get filthy rich, make millions in minutes with four incredible farms within a single spot. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the reason I'm making this video and bringing all four farms or locations to earn crazy amounts of runes in minutes into one video is because i've actually covered all these farms or all these these spots to make these runes but i've had well given out a little bit of false information with said farms today i want to clear all that up and make it 100 apparent that you don't need to defeat radan to actually get to this spot which i firstly will initially believe you did so the place where i'm at right now i can't even pronounce it guys i'm not i'll try i'll attempt it's called uh mogwan does that say mogwin well this secret area right here beholds four incredible spots you can earn insane amounts of runes for every kind of player level there is in the game the thing is the the way to get here and the easiest way to get here for lower level players is to well initially i thought it was to defeat radan but it ain't the only boss you have to uh, defeat to get here is a boss called godric the grafted once you take him out guys which you can do at a relatively low level uh, you can make your way to where i'm at on the map right here and it is as simple as that the secret area so the four farms quickly before i showcase you guys the actual route and mini quest you have to do to get here are straightforward so the first one which every level player can do uh so basically once you get the item in question from that mini quest you'll end up on the spot right here the item by the way is this which teleports you to the secret area it's called a pure blood um, uh, knight's medal you'll end up right here this is a spot uh, where i'll initiate every farm from but the first two which is uh one's for low level players the other one's for medium to high level players let's follow the path i'm taking on screen now the first one i will cover is for all level players all level players actually remember as long as you've beat godric the grafted you can come here and abuse this spot and get some crazy amount of runes so just follow the path i'm taking ignore all the enemies and we're up to this hill at the top of this hill guys there is a grace which you want to activate so yep keep coming keep coming keep coming run past all these ignore him doing his uh gymnastics and then activate this grace simple as that okay so the first farm is for all player levels i'd say as soon as you can beat godric the grafted i've seen players level 15 uh, beat him so yeah good from here guys from the grace you see that bird there come to where i'm at shoot the bird with a bow crossbow whatever he'll run off the map you gain 13 to 18k runes per time he falls off you then simply run back to the grace sit down stomach up do it again rinse and repeat now, if you've got the gold scarab on, which is a talisman, which gives you 20% extra runes on enemies defeated, you will get a ton where you get 17, just under 18,000 per bird falling off the map. And you can do this over and over and over as long as you have the bows, uh, the bolts and the crossbow or the, the bow itself. Simple as that, guys. You should repeat. So that's for all player levels. Doesn't really matter. You can earn millions in and out. Easy, guys. Easy. The second farm is the same spot which you've probably seen it's a little bit more popular it's this hill right here all these ads here guys give you roughly with that gold uh talisman on the gold scout talisman they give you about 2300 2400 each one and if you've got air of effect magic you can take all these out in an instant if you've got your sword it's a little bit longer as you can see here look you'll see how much each i get i get 2452 each guys and that is with the uh, gold scarab talisman on so yeah guys kill all these on the hill run back up sit down by the grace stand back up and you are good to go guys simple as that so the other farming spot it means i'm gonna have to use my teleporter to go back to the start which is cool okay so from here guys there's another two spots one of them you can farm if you're a high level player you earn tons of money tons of runes the other one is a one-time thing where you can glitch or cheese a boss and get 500k runes in approximately 30 seconds work so you need to come this way and just just follow the path you can't jump on your horse yeah but either way just come up here guys 
and just keep following just keep following there's a gray say you want to activate that no doubt about it now the, obviously the 500k one you want to do 100 percent i would say this other one which is i think was found first before the two i just previously covered um what well, is is a good spot but enemies do hit a little harder so unless you're high level here you're probably going to get done over and you're probably going to need uh, range attacks as well Right, so just follow the path I'm going right here, guys. And if you've got a torch, you're going to need it because it's pretty dark in this cave. It's pretty dark in this cave. I'll for sure, activate that. I'll just run through. Just follow the route I am taking. So as soon as you get in here, go slightly left up here. And then you want to take a right. You just want to follow the path down to the right. Don't go left there. Here you guys, you want to push slightly left and you'll see a slight little ramp here. There we go. And you want to do what's well, actually stairs or ramp. Hard right here. And come up this way. You'll see the light up there. Simple as that, guys. Simple as that, my people. And then you'll see a grace right there. Activate that grace. And this is a grace we'll be using for the third farming spot. So this grace here, activate it. You'll run up this hill. And you'll take out all of these ads simple as that again they're giving you 2400 per one easy guys take them all out run back down to the grace sit down stand back up rinse and repeat the other spot is guys from the grace will go is the uh, boss cheese where you can actually kill him without him throwing a hit at you so he doesn't doesn't fight back whatsoever it's a one-time thing but hey it means you get 500k runes for doing no work whatsoever so yes make sure you got that gold scarab on if you're doing this because like i said 500k runes for 30 seconds of just hitting him easy guys easy and you can do this at any level as well so yeah as long as you get access to this area which i'll explain to you guys in a second how you can do this you get tons of free runes guys tons of free runes simple as that so go on the lift now this lift should be already at the bottom for you guys if you come here the first time you come in here and like this is a one-time thing by the way so this door will be closed this will be actually when you first come here it won't be closed you have to initiate the fight first so go into the fight let the boss kill you then you'll spawn back outside the room if you select spawn at america so do that and you'll spawn right here you'll then notice there's that gold mist uh, above the door which you'll have to traverse to enter the boss boss fight again don't do that what we're going to do guys is take off all your armor and then jump up onto here now once you get up on here guys this is a trick for console players pc players it's a lot easier but for console players you want to turn well we're jumping up onto that wall there but what you want to do is turn around so face the other way then guys you want to step as far forward as you can without falling off this thing then you want to jump and at the same time press that dodge sprint button because if you press it without jumping you'll like dodge backwards and fall off when you've done that guys just obviously face the wall we want to jump to and just run and jump and you should get onto the wall and it really is as easy as that guys once you are in here people run up to the boss he won't fight back hit him you'll notice he will not fight back use what you can put your armor back on put your weapons back on and take him out that is guys it is that easy okay so to get here to get to this secret area the Mogwin palace whatever it's called there's two ways. The easy way is to obviously beat Godric the Grafted. Once you've beat Godric the Grafted, guys, you need to come back to the very start of the map, which is the first step, which is right here. Upon you coming here, guys, there will be a like a glowing sign on the floor to your left. Go on and go and talk to it, basically. That will then start a mini quest, which takes you to the Rose Church, which is this area right here. So go here, guys. There will be another NPC leading up the wall, and yes, yeah, speak to him. Simple as that. It will then start this mini quest to get this medallion which trans uh, well teleports you to this secret area so the mini quest basically is about two or three steps it's relatively straightforward the first step is for you to invade three players games three players worlds so do that let them kill you you kill them doesn't matter uh, but once you've done that you come back to him he will then give you a cloth you need to soak in blood now this can take you to one of two uh, locations for me it took me to this church right here the church of inhibition Yep, there I had to uh, fight an NPC that invaded me, killed him. I went into the church, soaked the blood with a, like a statue. Uh, simple as that. The other location, I'm not sure where it is, but it should tell you, you should know. It's, it's not too hard. Then guys, go back to the Rose Church. Upon doing this, guys, and completing this quest, you will get this 
uh, this medallion, this uh, medal. You can use the medal then within your inventory to teleport you to this hidden area, this secret area. Simple as that. Now for the people out there who haven't got the NPC there, if you accidentally killed him, if you go back to the first step and that stone ain't there, if you go up to Rose Church and the NPC ain't there, there's a good chance that something's gone wrong along the way. You've probably killed him, you've hit him, I don't know. But you can still get to the secret area to take advantage of any of these amazing rune earning methods. But it's a lot, lot longer. Okay, so firstly, I don't believe you have to beat Radan to do this, but I'd say beat him anyway because you're going to have to be fighting bosses a lot harder than him. So just take him out. Well, there's a good chance you've probably already done that. Then guys, you need to get access to this area right here. Where are we? This access, this area right here. So you need to get the Dectus Medallion. The Dectus Medallion is, comes in two halves. If you look on YouTube for a guide, you 100% find one. It's relatively straightforward. Go and grab the two sides, guys. Come here and you'll be able to use this lift. You'll end up in this area right here. You then, guys, need to come this way. Follow the path I'm taking right here, guys. And you'll end up here where there will be a small mini bus guy on a horseback. Take him out. It's quite easy. You then, guys, get access to this whole area right here. So you need to make your way through it, just like so, and you'll end up seeing a massive dragon, like a statue of a dragon. You need to climb its wing, and you'll end up at the Godfrey fight, the Phantom Godfrey. You need to take him out. Upon taking him out, you need to get up to the floor above yourself, and then, guys, fight the Omen King. You then have to take him out also. Doing that, guys, you gain access to this area here, Forbidden Lands, and access to the Grand Lift of Road. Upon getting up here, you then have to Traverse all the way to the top here guys and go to this castle of Sol. At the very top there is a boss called Commander Niall. You have to take him out. He then gives you another, well half of a medallion called the Halig Tree Medallion. The other half of the medallion is found down here. So come to the village of the Al Albinerix, does that sound? I'm not even sure. Come here guys and you'll see at the top of this hill there will be a guy hiding in a basket. Punch the basket, don't hit the basket with a heavy weapon. Otherwise, you can kill him and ruin this whole thing. He will then, guys, give you the other half of the Halic Tree Medallion. You then, guys, need to go back up to the Grand Lift of Road. You then, guys, need to press right on your D-pad and you'll get access to this area right here, the hidden path to the Halic Tree. Upon coming here, guys, you need to make your way over to around there as there will be a hidden portal. But before doing this, you will be invaded by an uh, NPC who you need to kill before you can access this portal. So you're, well, you, I'll do it on screen now. Uh, so from the hidden path of Halig Tree, follow the path I take up to this grace, then go across to this uh, area right here, kill the invader, go to the portal. And you'll then, guys, end up where I'm at on the map right here, guys. And from here, follow the path uh, I take to the grace, which leads to the very first two room farms I covered in today's video. And there we have it, people. That is how you gain access to this amazing area to earn millions of runes in no time at all. And there we have it, guys. This is how you can come to this amazing secret area and earn tons of runes, people. And I hope this video helps you out. Again, guys, I'm only really doing it because... Within the previous uh, videos I've made on this area, I've always said that you need to defeat Radan. Because I've already defeated Radan, I thought this was the only way to get to the secret area, but actually it isn't. So yes, I hope this clears things up for people out there, especially the lower level players who can't take him out yet. So yes, I hope this helps you out. If it does, leave a like, it really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more Elden Ring, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.